Hi all, welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about the reporting inside the purchase module. As in every other module of Odoo 16, inside the purchase module also, we have the reporting feature. Before, in Odoo 15, we had dashboard as well as the purchase analysis. But in Odoo 16, we only have purchase analysis. Now, inside the purchase analysis also, you have the graph view and also the pivot view. Inside this graph view and pivot view, you get the complete analysis of the purchases which are done before. And inside the measures, you have the option to add certain details which you want to see. Like you will you'll only be having the total and all. So if you want to see the uh, total build and all, you can see that also uh, with the help of the measures. Now you can also add it to spreadsheet and you know flip access. A lot of features are available inside the reporting. Let's move forward to the module and see how it works. Okay, so now let's get inside the purchase module and see what all things the reporting is providing us. So here's the purchase module, I'm opening it. Okay, so here you can see the reporting menu. I'm clicking on that and here is the purchase. Let's open purchase. So once you open it, you get the purchase analysis and you'll get the line chart that is the graphical view of the purchase analysis. Okay, so here you can see the confirmation dates of each of these purchases and the amounts and all can be seen on the other side. Okay, and here you can see what this color represents. This color represents actually the untaxed total. Okay, now it's actually filtered. I'm removing the filter, then you can see it without any filters. Okay, then you have the measures here. So accordingly, you can choose what all measures you want to display and all. So I'm putting average cost. So you can see the average cost has come on the other side. Now if I choose days to receive, those days will become. Then we have the gross weight, the quantity ordered, the quantity received and all. So based on your need, you can filter it and you can put the measures there. Then you have the option to insert this particular thing into a spreadsheet. So before that, I'll show the bar chart. Okay, I'm removing the measure and I'm putting count there. So this is the bar chart and then we have the pie chart of the C. So here you can see what each color represents. One is undefined, one have, uh, I mean, all the other colors defines dates and all. Okay, then if you go back to line chart and bar chart, you have the cumulative view and also the stacked view. So for the bar chart, you have the stack, stacked view and also you can view it in ascending and descending order. Now, if you go to line chart, there you are, I mean, there, there also you have the uh, stacked view. Then here's the cumulative view and also the ascending and descending. Okay, then we have the filters group by and favorites. So under filters, you have the option to filter it based on RFQs. Okay, so you can see the uh, graph based on the RFQ filter. You can see the confirmation date and the uh, count and all here. Then we have the purchase orders. That is if you want to see only the purchase orders, that is also possible here. Then I'm going to filter it based on confirmation date last year. Okay, so that's the, the result is right in front of you. Then also you can filter it based on the order date, confirmation date, and even you can add custom filters. So if you just um, provide the date here, based on the date you give, the result will be displayed. Then we have the group by option where you have the option to group by vendor. So this is basically group by vendor. Here you can see ready mat, Gemini, wood corner and all, or different vendors. So this is actually grouped on, uh, based on vendors. Then you have the option to group it based on vendor country. Okay, purchase representative. I'm removing this. So here you can see the purchase representative. That's the user. So here in this case, it's Michelle Edmund. Then you have product. Uh, the product category, status, company and all. So based on all these things, you can group the analysis. Then you have the favorites option where you can save the current search and link this menu in spreadsheet. Okay, so I'm removing the filter. The next view which we have is the pivot view. So this is the graph view. So on the top right corner, you can see the pivot view. Click on that. And here comes the table. So this is the ta like a table like view of the same which we saw in graphs right now. So here also you have the option to put measures. So currently you have count, order, untaxed, total and total. I'm adding a measure here. So I'll add quantity build. So one more field is added, quantity build. And if I'm adding one more, which is quantity received, you can see that has also been added. And if you want to flip axis, you can do that easily. 
you can expand all and even you can download the Excel SX of the uh, pivot table. So this is downloaded here. I'll show you. This is the uh, Excel SX which we downloaded right now. I'm just closing it. Then we have the option to insert this particular thing into a spreadsheet. So I'll flip the axis again and click on insert in spreadsheet. So you can choose whatever spreadsheet you want from this options. I'm choosing this one, clicking on confirm. So here you can see that table has been inserted in the spreadsheet. Now let's go back. Here also we have the same filter group by and favorites. Okay, so these are the main things which comes under the reporting. That's all about the reporting inside the purchase module. I hope it was clear. Thank you so much for watching.